<laughs> She's a great girl. <laughs> it's a great uh, girl. You excited? Yeah. Happy she's here? Uh-huh. Hi everyone, Candace McCool here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am really, really excited. We are venturing on a new journey. My daughter, Logan, has spina bifida. She is paralyzed from the waist down and she is five years old. And because of that, we have decided to get her service dog. But instead of getting one already trained and grown, we are going to raise it as a puppy and train it ourselves. So we have found a breeder down in Tampa, Florida, who uses this amazing sensor bio program that really makes docile, calm, laid back dogs. And my daughter is allergic to most dogs. So we went with a hypoallergenic dog. It's an Australian Labradoodle. And we've already named her Shiloh. We are um, going to venture down to Tampa, pick her up, and I'm going to document it along the way, just our journey and how we're going to do obedience training and then eventually teach her to be a service dog for Logan. So enjoy! All right, stop number two is complete on mission. We gotta give us a mission name. Pick mission. That's a terrible mission name. <laughs> Not very creative. But we're a third of the way there. So that's We are a third good. of the way there. We got Logan's medical supplies ordered finally. It's Gassed kind of up. Good news, bad news. Like, the bad news is I'm tired already so much that I'm letting you drive. The good news is we still have another six hours. Yeah, you gotta be pretty desperate to let me drive. So we are on our way to pick up Shiloh. We're only about an hour away from our hotel. We're going to spend the night and get up super early the next morning and pick her up and head back to Alabama. I tried to pack as much as I could into our little uh, bag here for Shiloh. So I was just gonna kinda go through what all we packed to try to prepare for having a dog and making multiple stops along the way home. So the first one is, of course, you gotta have your uh, paper towels for spills. This is just like a little soft robe type toy. Her dog food in here. We brought her collar and her leash. So the breeder has already introduced her to going outside to use the restroom. Also introduced her to a leash, so at least she'll be aware of what it is and hopefully not bite at it. And then she's also a semi-crate trained her already. So that's really good for us. So we just brought these in order for us to make the stops. I also brought a really soft toy in case she wants to cuddle up to that. This is just to be able to put her dog food in and then a little bit of a cat, uh, like a capsized water bottle, <laughs> I don't know, collapsible water, bo uh, water bowl, and then something to pick up her poop with. Um, I also brought a bone, I think this is like a bit of bone, and uh, in case you want something hard to bite on, because I don't want her to get used to biting on my hands or anything like that. Another thing that we went ahead and packed is Logan's pajamas that she wore last night. Just to be able to, we have a little place in the bag that's completely contained in its mesh. And it's um, in case she goes to sleep, she can actually sleep with Logan's clothes and kind of get that smell and get acquainted that way before she even meets Logan. And then I also have um, a big binder that I've put together. I've been doing an online puppy course and 
this is going to allow me to actually have a schedule of when she goes to the bathroom, uh, when she eats, so that I can be more aware of what her schedule is going to be like. It'll also, because I have these tabs, I can put all of the information and all of the contracts that we're going to be signing at the breeders as well. So I've got all of that into one little bag and hopefully all of that will come in handy and we'll be prepared. Shoo. Oh, it looks so nice. So we finally made it. After about a 10 hour drive, only stopping really once to eat outside the car, and then a couple of times to gas up, we made it to St. Petersburg North. We're staying at the Fair Fairfield Inn, and it's really pretty. Super clean, super nice. I'm really enjoying it. We decided to take full advantage of being here near Tampa and go eat dinner on the water. So we went to a place called Woody's waterfront and it was really nice um good food great atmosphere we are back at the hotel now about to get ready for bed because we are going to get up super early in the morning to go pick up shiloh we requested the earliest pickup time available just because we had such a long way to drive so we are picking her up at 8 30 eastern time and then hitting the road so the next time you see us we will be picking up shiloh what is this this is a car carrier for Shiloh. Just got to figure out how to put it together. It goes in the back seat to keep her safe. It has like a little mat, soft mat in here for her to lay on. And this part right here hooks over the headrest so that if an accident occurs, it will stay put. Let's hope we don't have to worry about that though, right? Exactly. <laughs> But if my arms get tired during our 10 to 12 hour trip home, this will be a nice little place for her to stay and feel cozy and comfortable and safe while she takes her little naps and gives my arms a break. All right, just like that. Ta-da! And you can unzip it and she can go in through there and it just zips right back. It has a zipper in the front, so if I'm in the front seat, I can just put my hand in and pet her if we need to. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh. Oh, you're so soft. <laughs> You ready to come home and eat Loki? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Has she already eaten today? Yes. Okay. Say hi. <laughs> you excited? You're quiet. <laughs> oh, she is quiet. Oh. Oh, we're gonna love you so much. Yes. You cannot wait. You're gonna be best buddies with Logan. Yes, you are. Oh, 
goodness. I'll hold her. Okay, you got her? Okay. All right, there she is. Oh, oh she's purple. What do you think? I like Shiloh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think you and Shiloh are going to be best friends, yeah? Oh. <laughs> okay. She got me with her chain. She's okay. She's sitting on you. Oh, no, she is. She's a great girl. <laughs> it's a great girl. Uh, Are you excited? Yeah. Happy she's here? Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Logan. And, and Shallow's here. And, and she can pick up toys. Pick up items when they fall to the ground? Yeah, when you're and, doing a me. Mm hmm. And you're in your wheelchair and I can't pick it up. When I'm in my little pageant coaching session and you drop something. Then Shallow can come and pick it up for you, right? After she sleeps. What else are you excited about Shiloh doing for you, baby? I don't know. Mm, what about helping you transfer uh, from your wheelchair I, to the couch? I already know how to transfer. From your wheelchair to the couch? Only from the my wheels to the football. Right, but guess what? Shiloh can help you with. What? You can push on her shoulder blades when she gets big enough. Push her shoulder blades. Right here in your back. <laughs> <laughs> and you can push on them and she can help you to transfer. And guess what else she can do? What? Reach the light switches. <laughs> I know! That's like that? Fun. Yes, like that way up there. So I'm really excited about Shallow being able to do all of that. So what, anything else you want to tell? them about Shiloh? She's a sweet dog. Well, who am I talking to? Well, you're going to talk to all of our YouTube followers who's going to follow our journey of teaching Shiloh how to be a service dog. Oh my gosh, are they coming over here? <laughs> no, they're not going to come over here. They're just going to watch the video. Uh, Isn't that exciting? Uh, and they're going to get to see you. All right, how do you say bye? Bye. bye. Thank you so much for joining us on our journey to pick up Shiloh, Logan's future service dog. We are so excited to have her in our home. She is the sweetest little pup, so docile. Now she does play around a lot. She is um, very rambunctious at times. And so Logan really likes to like her from afar sometimes. When she is sleepy, that's when Logan loves her the most and can love on her and cuddle her. So we do a lot of redirection. She loves the water. It's so nice outside right now in Alabama. So we've been going outside and just playing and she plays in her water bowl. But she's been a really great dog. Um, she went to the gym with me this morning and helped me teach boot camp. And I just wore her in a little sling and then she went into her, uh, her crate. And she did great. She slept pretty much the whole time. Oh, you got the hiccups, poor thing. So all in all, we're really excited to have her. We're really pleased with her. She is learning so much how to use the bells. She can um, sit by lowering with a treat and she has mastered the touch command. She takes treats very nicely from your hand. So all in all, you know, three days, four days having her and, um, and we're very pleased. So thank you again for joining us and I really hope to be able to document our journey. Just right now it's obedience training, it's just like any other pup. And then as she gets older, we'll do more of the tricks, different things like that that we actually want to have a service dog for. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Hey, bye. Bye. <laughs>